Virgo, you are probably seeing the world through a completely different lens than everybody else is seeing right now. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly all right. Welcome to your reading for the rest of December with me, Adrian Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. Before we get into your the details of your reading, Virgo, I've got this beautiful Lemurian quartz, which I always use to send healing energy to you. I want to send you some Reiki healing energy. So if there's any area in your life that is feeling very conflicted, very restricted, very off kilter very unbalanced, very uncertain, unsure, fearful, whatever it may be. I want you to place your hands on your heart and I want you to take a deep breath into your heart. Breathing that healing energy into your heart as our hearts are connecting. We are one. And as you breathe out, release to the universe so that the universe may take care of things for you. Okay? Virgo, I let's just quickly look at the... Um, the zodiacal influences that are happening for you at the moment. So Mercury, your ruling planet, went into retrograde um, on December the 13th. Now, you know, for you, it. I suppose if one wants to be nasty about things, and definitely that's not my vibe, but if you want to be sarcastic about things, you can say this is the period between during which Virgo is a lot more Virgo. You know, but whereas other people might think that is, you know, a little bit crazy, for you, this is actually a very, very good thing, you know, because it's it's very normal for you to be able to, at this particular point in time, really re-evaluate everything into your life. But and here's the magical part about that. You are doing it, but there's not that usual sense of overwhelm around it, that usual sense of almost like fearful despondency around it you know that is that is that is definitely very predominantly absent so it's almost like you can allow your brain to go crazy <laughs> which is great but it's, it's not a sense of overwhelm that comes with it you know so it might be too much for other people to deal with but not for you which is really really great um it might be a time where, because of the fuller, deeper exploration that you are doing, there might be some challenges with communication over here. That's something actually that, who was that for? Um, Aries. A little bit with Cancer, but Aries um, and even Taurus, that's, uh, that's sort of like a little something that they may be having at this particular point in time where you want to be more clear about your communication and what it is that you mean. But, you know, I feel that for you, you've got this more relaxed approach to life, which is such a sigh of relief. You know, where normally you will feel the need to correct everything and correct everyone and they have to understand and you're like, you know what, no. Um, and you may even feel like your boundaries are a little bit blurred and you might find yourself sort of like surprised at this. You know, usually you might be like, no, I will definitely not do this. I definitely won't do that. Whereas you find yourself now maybe thinking of more like creative things, other things that you want to do, you think about your future, how you want to feel in your future going forward, which is really, really fantastic um, for you, Virgo. This is a beautiful healing period for you with this whole retrograde that is running through from December the 13th until January the 2nd, where you with your beautiful, this, you know, your beautiful analytical mind is so your friend during this period of time. Um, which which I really, really love, you know, your mind being your friend, um, because this is a time where you are really seeing things for, for what they are. You know, you're getting some real clear perspective, which is really, really great. Um, and it's it's almost like a sigh of relief, because with Neptune that went direct around December the 6th, you know, um, I say around it because depending on when the world you are, um, you may have felt yourself almost like your head was going to explode. You know, you might have felt so overwhelmed. You felt so challenged by life. You, um, it's almost like you had to make some really powerful decisions. But it's like, you know, once you made the decision, there's a sense of relief that came in there for you. There's a more adventurous sort of energy that you might be feeling at this particular point in time, especially, you know, um, since the new moon in Sagittarius that, um, you know, started on December the 12th, that beautiful 12-12 energy, which is a very powerful energy in any case. You know, you may find, and I'm, I'm, I'm letting you know this because I want you to be aware of this, that it's normal and it's natural and it's great and it's good and it's to your benefit. You know, you may find that um, that before you were, you know, the way that you were applying your mind was in a very 
um, almost pathological safe sort of way in a way that really didn't make you feel happy and fulfilled and you know that sort of stuff whereas now you are considering the bigger picture and you're asking questions like and you're pondering things like what do i want my life to be what do i want my future to be you know i feel that a lot of you have been in these so-called safe zones which are just really comfort zones and you you don't want to live that restricted life anymore you know um and even um there might be a need for clearer communication in 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 romance but I feel that for some of you, you may have felt yourself and even sort of did some unexpected things towards love, towards a person where maybe you didn't fully tell them yet that, yes, I like you and I want to be with you. But you sort of did things that you thought afterwards like, oh, wow, well, I didn't expect myself to do that and feeling very fulfilled as a direct result of having done so, you know, which is all really, really fantastic. Let's draw your tarot cards and see what you have. We've got the full moon coming up on December the 26th, which is in Cancer. Oh, there's the link with the Cancer energy, you know. Um, and it's a deep reset that's taking place where there's a sense of rest taking place for you. The best for you is definitely yet to come. That's, that's a fact, my beautiful, beautiful um, Virgos, so wherever you've got Virgo in your chart, dealing with a Virgo. So if you are feeling very overwhelmed, you feel yourself going from overwhelmed to peaceful and calm, you know. Also, I really want to just quickly mention while I'm drawing these cards for you, I took a couple of days off. I'm a Cancerian. The energies were hectic. They were hitting me left, right, and center. You know, especially with those solar flares that have taken place, which has really been activating a lot of dormant DNA potential in all of the world. So the world's becoming better because this is the thing for you to know, my beautiful Virgos, is that, <laughs> if I can call it like this, you know, the downwards of the world, they're getting with the program, <laughs> you know. So the world for you is becoming better. Because it's it's like a lot of the things that were frustrating you, those things are busy sussing themselves out. Which is why a couple of people are going a little bit sort of crazy. They're actually realigning to the new energy. Okay, just just let them do it. Give them a glass of water and then move on about your ways. Okay. But um I have come back and I saw in my PayPal there were a couple of um, payments that were made for personal readings, especially 2024 predictive readings. Um, I do still have a couple of slots available for those. Um but I, um, you know, if you're going to book, you know, I'm still working on, on a new system for bookings and stuff like that. But at the moment, if you do place a booking, please send me an email, please send me a WhatsApp. My details are in the description to let me know about it because I don't go and check it out all the time. When I get a whole lot of things that I come across like that, it is a bit overwhelming for me. So it hit me a little bit hard. I have also started a WhatsApp group, which you're more than welcome to join. It's completely free. I draw a card there every day. There we go. Oh, love it. I draw a card there every day and, you know, channel a message if you're interested in it. Or you can join my Facebook group or Instagram where I also share lots of helpful resources for your better good. So the death card energy. One of the most misunderstood cards in the tarot deck. And you know what I really love so much about this, my beautiful Virgos, is that you are one of the most misunderstood energies that there are out there. And what I really love so much is that it's almost like the world is getting to your level. You know, people are elevating to your level. People are like waking up from their slumber. Um, and it's, it's a rebirth. It's a reset that is taking place. Again, especially with that energy on December the 26th. It's a reset energy. It's a rebirth energy. You know, we're coming out of a very long period of a slumber and we're being reset. You know, even with these hectic solar flares that have been taking place sort of like the sun kind of like shifts on its pole so to speak and it happens about every 11 years which is you know again with 11 it's that you know powerful master number new beginnings energy so it's like everybody's being shaken up a little bit so instead of often having the experience of feeling like a stranger in this world and you have to dumb yourself down this is a space where um you actually get to experience that beautiful new level in the next level without the frustration of having to sort of like spoon feed other people, you know, to just not self-destruct, <laughs> you know. It's, it's really, really great. It's really, really cool for you. Lots of amazing things can be happening for you now, okay. Um, what I even like is that it's it's like... 
everybody might be less on time than they were before and where it would have frustrated you so so much before you're like everything's just working out it's like everything's just working out to your favor all right um the four of pentacles um balance in your home space balance in the finances balance in your career balance in the workspace um equal distribution of um you know energies and and physical things and it's, it's almost like you get to have more time to yourself. You get to explore the things that you'd like to explore. Again, you get to, you know, sort of like explore your hobbies, do the things that make you happy. It's like you need to be less of a parent to everybody else in the world and you can be more like, you know, like the, like the happy younger sibling where everybody just takes care of everything and you can just do you. So that's really, really cool. So if you have been finding yourself a very frustrated Virgo with having to almost like sort of like micromanage everybody, know that that is definitely coming to an end, okay? And then you have two really powerful energies that came out here for you. You've got the Eight of Cups, and then you've got the, the Page of Pentacles. So when you combine these two energies together, this is a space where you are, it's, it's like a lot of dreams that I wouldn't say they couldn't come true for you before, but it's almost like if you went for what if you went for what you want, that some people would have suffered as a result. There may have been some selfishness that was going on over here. Now there's a space where you can actually embrace what you would like to embrace, and money is coming into your life, and resources and support is coming from expected sources and also very very unexpected sources. So life is really getting better for you, um, and it's almost it's almost like people are awakening to the realization that you know they have taken advantage of you and they have been quote-unquote standing in their power um, but in doing so they've actually been you know not all that nice to you and it's like they are getting that and so your life is really getting so much better there's a lot of positive things for you to look forward to okay Virgo I look very forward to our next reading where I'm going to do your January 2024 reading um, I'm going to ask you that if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel I would really appreciate it if you do if you already have, then I really want to thank you for your support as well as like the video. From my heart, namaste, love and like. I look forward to seeing you next time.